I'm in the clouds Come down when I run out of jet fuel But I never run out of jet What's going on guys, Cloud Kicker checking in. Today we're going to be going over IPM or Integrated Pest Management. I got a few questions here and there about Integrated Pest Management and what would I use to control this and that and here and there. And I only could really recommend this product Smite because that's the only thing I really use. I didn't research that product. I was recommended that product at the grocery store. It helps. It's a um, natural oil. I think it's made of peppermint oil, cottonseed oil, and rosemary oil. It works. It um, I, I used it here and there, but I, like I said, I didn't really research it, so I could. It, it probably wouldn't have been the first on my list, but it is a good product. Um, I think it they don't build up tolerances but anyway that's not what we're talking about today we're really mainly focusing on these two products um, from a company called Maroon Bio first we're gonna be going over Regalia and these are gonna be their CG uh, CG line that's cultivated garden pretty much any edible gardens they have different lines for different uh, applications but we are going to be using the CG um, line of their products okay first up regalia that's going to be their biofungicide it is composed of a knotweed extract so usually when you have something composed from a plant extract it's almost like a no-brainer and almost like a cheat code because you're taking something that's naturally occurring in nature and injecting it into you know your garden so um, going on it controls plant diseases and improves overall health and it's also very good for powdery mildew it's a broad spectrum uh, fungicide so it doesn't only work on uh, powdery mildew it works on a wide range of things and it also triggers the plants natural defense mechanisms and it increases chlorophyll content in the plants so you're gonna have a greener more lush plant just uh, and it's all natural so it's just uh, I liked all that stuff all those points when I was uh, reading up on it and looking at the videos next is going to be venerate CG that's their bio insecticide it's composed of a new species of bacteria um, so it's a non-living bacteria something they found in the in the nature that when ingested by uh, insects say like um, I was watching something on the Discovery Channel like in nature there's this fungus that when uh, ants touch it it takes over their body and kills them and so it's something pretty much like that but it's just a non-living bacteria that does pretty much like the same thing it stops feeding and development and reproduction of a broad range of chewing and sucking insects mites and flies it's composed of a heat killed bacteria that targets insects has a zero day harvest interval leaves no residue and about four days till pests die so after you spray it you'll be able to see visible results after about four days these two products can be mixed together and used together you can soil drench the biofungicide once every 21 days and you follow your spray these once every week again like I said I like these because they're natural natural alternative to all the harsh shit that you're going to be spraying on your uh, plants like I say these are specifically for CG you can go on their uh, website <coughs> and under their products um, like subsection it actually actually says medical gardens or medical plants so very safe product very nice technology that they're using next we're going to be talking about Captain Jacks it's a similar product to what is that first one regalia it's composed of, well, it's called Captain Jacks dead bug brew <coughs> need something to drink shit okay it's a naturally occurring bacteria that kills insects pretty much almost like the same thing I think they found this in Jamaica or some one of those Caribbean islands and it does pretty much the same thing the uh, insects ingested and it kills them so 
very, another natural alternative. Uh, next, we're going to be talking about SNS 203. This is going to be their soil drench and foliar spray. This is composed of clove oil and rosemary oil. Uh, soil and foliar spray, you do this every couple, maybe three days, two, three days. Um, and SNS 209, this is going to be their systemic pest control. You soil drench this. Uh, maybe once or twice a week and um, after that it, it, it takes about a week or so to get in the system and actually start work. What it is, it's rosemary extract. It gets in the uh, plant system and when the insect goes to bite on the plant tissue, they don't like rosemary oil so they don't sit and feed off that plant. They move on. And when they move on without a uh, food source they die so um, and the reason why I got the extra ones is because you don't want them even though this is bacteria and they can't build up a a, a, a tolerance against these you just want to uh, hit them at all different types of angles you, you, you want to you know cover all grounds all bases you know so I got something that's going to go inside the system Inside the plant, I got something that I'm spraying every few days, uh, just hitting them and making sure there's nothing there that um, they're going to like to be on. And these biologicals, just keeping that plant healthy. And that's a nice, solid IPM, if you ask me. Um, yeah, I did my due diligence. I'm very, very... Uh, excited about using these products and in general this one and and I really like what this one is doing with the natural bacteria that's a very good idea I wouldn't have thought but yeah but um yeah maroon bio these are the two main ones that I recommend and you can also incorporate these uh, just for in between or whatever but yeah man IPM stay on top of it and um you i don't know if i said it but you want to um apply this right after the clone soil drench get it right in the system the, the trick is to get it into the system before you encounter any problems so it builds up a natural defense against anything and just be it'll remain a hundred percent healthy plant all the way through all right, and that's all I got for today, folks. Uh, Till next time, take it easy. Now I'm in the clouds, calm down when I run out of jet fuel. But I never run out of jet